some add-ons, some new domains. Those are nothing but IS domains, industrial solutions, industrial specific solutions. SAP IS oil and gas. We are having a lot of IS domains here. You can see in my screen and my PPT. SAP IS domains, these are the IS domains nowadays in the market. SAP IS aerospace, IS automotive, IS banking, IS chemicals, consumer products. For each and every industry, there is a IS solution, SAP solution. For insurance, utilities, oil and gas, railway, whatever, you name it, they are having the IS domain. So, these domains, in these domains, we can fit the particular business scenarios of the particular industries. Okay, in these among these uh, uh, in India, the most popular ones based on the compensation and based on the demand, market demand are uh, oil and gas, retail, utilities. Nowadays, insurance also coming into India. But uh, these uh, aerospace, automotive, so banking, these are not popular in India. But in US and UK, they are using uh, uh, aerospace, automotive, and banking also. I think uh, some other guy joined, so Mr. Veera, hello. Hello, Mr. Veera. No response, okay. So, uh, what is oil and gas, SAP, IS oil and gas? Yeah, it is also like a uh, basic domain, but it supports the basic domains like SD, SD processors are there. This IS oil and gas domain supports the SD process in oil and gas business, MM processes. Okay, this will support the MM process like logistics, SD process like pricing, back orders, those things it will support, third party sales, those things SAP IS oil and gas supports. Okay, from the wellhead to the gas station, all the business scenarios we can fit into this SAP IS oil and gas. This is a particularly used for oil and gas industry only. So, I will discuss the oil and gas segments, basic segments uh, in my next slide. These are the oil and gas segments based on the business scenarios. Various business scenarios are there or various business operations are there in the oil and gas industry. Those are divided into uh, three streams. We can call those as uh, upstream, upstream, middle stream and downstream. Most generally in the industry, uh, up, middle stream and uh, downstream together we are calling as a downstream only, downstream companies which are involved in midstream and uh, downstream uh, activities. We are calling those companies as downstream companies. Okay. Upstream means searching and exploration of the crude oil or natural gas, searching as well as the exploration process of the natural gas or crude oil we are calling as upstream upstream process okay which com the companies which are involved in upstream business we are calling those companies as upstream companies like reliance it is into searching and exploration of the process we are having the exploration uh, rigs in kakinada also in andhra kakinada and in mumbai Patalganga. In Gujarat also we are having uh, in Kandla I think okay and the ONGC also they are also upstream company midstream means the refining process oil refining process after getting the crude oil we will store that crude oil into some aggregation storages silos or tanks then we will transport that to the refineries in the refineries we will refine the crude oil to get the finished products like gasoline diesel uh, air propulsion, uh, propulsional uh, fluid uh, fuels and the ship propulsion fuels, heating oils, like these finished products we, can, we will get. Along with these finished product, we will get the byproducts also. Some of the byproducts of the oil and gas industry are sulfur, synthetics, plastics, tar, naphtha, these are the byproducts. So at this uh, middle stream stage, we will get the finished product or byproducts also. After getting these finished product and byproducts, the manufacturing process is over. Then 
down downstream comes into picture the transportation of the finished product okay sales okay planning of the transportation tariffs duties calculation of the tariffs and duties okay logistics all these we will discuss in the downstream okay so this is the schematic diagram which will explain all the streams this is upstream searching and exploration process production process oil field services upstream and then after getting the crude oil or natural gas the transportation will done and uh, we will store the crude oil or natural gas into aggregation storages or tanks we will call those tanks as silos also silo this is the oil and gas terminology okay whenever you will confirm the class i will uh, share the terminology sheet also for any business you need to know the particular business terminology okay after storing into silos we will refine the uh, crude oil or natural gas for the finished products after that we will transport the finished product continuous transportation batch transportation if we are using the pipeline transportation then we are calling those as continuous transportation if we are using road transportation or rail, uh, rail transportation or marine transportation then we are calling that as batch transportation after transportation distribution packaging trading marketing these activities comes into downstream this is basics about uh, oil and gas industry i will discuss thoroughly in my actual classes about oil and gas industry and uh, the process all those things i will discuss in the actual classes these are the basics what is what okay so uh, this is my curriculum as i said before if you are from sd or mm background you know the master data and you know the enterprise structure but there is a little differ the difference uh, uh, from sd master data and uh, oil and gas master data those things i will cover i will start from zero if you want oil and gas uh, enterprise structure how to form the oil and gas enterprise structure what are the entities organizational entities present in the oil and gas and enterprise structure those things we will discuss in the oil and gas enterprise structure in the master data we use here sd master data uh, those are like sd master data only but oil and gas master data are little difference oil and gas enhancements will add to that uh, uh, master data uh, important master data are customer master data vendor master data and uh, material master data these master data we will discuss i think you know uh, about master data and transactional data there is no need to discuss about uh, master data and transactional data yeah we are having the td master data also those master data we will discuss in the transportation and distribution functionality td master data like uh, vehicle master data transportation unit master data and uh, driver master data those things we will discuss in the td functionality so from pricing agreements to hcm that means price agreements exchanges transportation and distribution tariffs duties and permits traders schedulers workbench tsw remote logistics management uh, rlm hydrocarbon product management hpm these are the topics we are going to cover this is completely downstream i am not discussing the upstream Why? because i am leaving uh, jva and pra in the upstream Uh, joint venture accounting jva pra means a production revenue accounting the companies are searching for jva and pra consultants who are worked in oil and gas industry real time experience domain experience those who are worked in production or or oil rigs they are preferring those consultants only and uh, you need to have a uh, chemical degree chemical mba or chemical graduation Uh, i will discuss briefly about uh, all the functionalities here price agreements if you are from uh, sap esd then uh, uh, you know about the pricing technique what uh, what is the pricing technique what pricing technique we will follow in the esd same pricing technique we will follow in the is oil and gas also 
but here the pricing techniques are uh, uh, four important pricing techniques are there which are used in oil and gas industry time pricing location specific pricing contract specific pricing formula and average pricing time pricing means uh, based on the particular time the pricing will vary for suppose i will give you an example here for suppose uh, we know the big bazaar big bazaar will give uh, on august 15th there is a 20% discount that means throughout the year they are following a pricing uh, procedure but on august 15th particular day or particular date they are following a different pricing procedure that is nothing but time pricing based on the time based on the day or based on the date also in oil and gas industry also we will use the time pricing we'll discuss uh, the purpose and uh, why we are using where we are using those things we will discuss in the time pricing location specific pricing i will give a simple example for location specific pricing also if you want to buy a automobile from two different states or two different cities say for example you want to buy from um, bangalore and you want to buy from hyderabad also check the prices there is a variation in the price why why we call the taxes local taxes comes into picture state taxes central taxes even uh, city taxes in us city taxes county taxes also applicable on that material on that product so based on the location the price may vary even oil and uh, oil products also check the price of uh, petrol in bangalore and hyderabad those are not same there is a slight variation at least in rupees there is a slight variation 1 rupee 2 rupee variation is there why because based on the location based on the tax location tax and contract specific pricing in sd we use the contract for controlling the price oil and gas products are commodities commodity prices fluctuate every minute so to control the price we use the contract commodities like uh, uh, gold silver wheat rice cotton mirchi all these are commodities we use the contract specific pricing in all the commodity markets not only in oil and gas industry to control the price say for example today's uh, uh, gold price is uh, 3000 per gram for example if you want to buy after one month but you don't know what is the price after one month you are forecasting like uh, there is a increase slight increase in the price so you draw a contract based on that contract the supplier is going to deliver or is going to sell that material for today's price based on the contract okay in oil and gas industry also we use the contract specific pricing for crude buying and selling and uh, formula and average pricing uh, in commodity industries like uh, steel industry as i said before uh, oil and gas industry wheat industry uh, cotton industry mirchi in all these industries uh, the prices are decided by the third party institutions in oil and gas industry some institutions are reuters megra hill uh, singapore oil exchange indian oil exchange european oil, oil exchange to control the price to decide the price so these pricing institutions we are calling as third party price suppliers price suppliers they will quote the price every minute they will quote the price so we will get that price quotation from their servers to our sap server through trm treasury risk management there is a domain called treasury risk management through that we will get the quotation okay uh different formulas are using in uh, uh, price quotation for deciding the price those uh, formula and average pricing we will discuss in the formula and average pricing okay then coming to exchanges functionality this is a unique business scenario used in oil and gas industry and uh, in mining industry you cannot find this exchanges scenario in any in any other industry only mining and oil and gas industry it's like uh, exchanging the household uh, products like uh, chini salt we are exchanging 
with our neighbors okay whenever our stocks are uh, we are lack of stocks then we will borrow some chini one cup of chini from neighbor whenever our stocks are fulfilled then we will return back that amount of the chini in oil and gas industry also whenever our stocks are we are uh, lack in stocks we will borrow the material for example uh, in exchanges three scenarios are there one is a buy and sell scenario borrow and loan and a throughput uh, scenario say for example we are running a trading company in hyderabad okay in mumbai we are having a customer okay but we don't have any facility to supply the customer in mumbai we don't have any facility in mumbai so what we will do is we'll make a agreement with a company which present in mumbai which is doing operations in mumbai we'll make a agreement and that company will serve our customer on behalf of our company in hyderabad okay we are borrowing the material from them okay in return what we will do is we will serve his customer in hyderabad we are returning back the amount whatever we are borrowing we are returning back this is buy and sell scenario so for example same example in hyderabad we are running a trading company and we are having a customer in hyderabad itself but we don't have the stock the crisis period in crisis we will use the borrow, borrow and loan scenario we don't have stock so we'll borrow the product whatever the quantity required uh for our client we'll borrow that uh, product we will fulfill our customer need whenever our stocks are fulfilled we'll return back whatever the quantity we borrowed borrow and loan okay in first scenario buy and sell scenario the settlements are done in terms of currency the value settlement tax settlements transportation handling all the charges will settle in terms of currency but in second scenario borrow and loan we don't settle the value of the material in terms of currency we are exchanging the product that's it we are borrowing and we are returning back that's it we are not exchanging uh, we are not settling in terms of currency but the taxes handling fee transportation fees these things we will settle in terms of currency in the second scenario that is borrow and loan scenario throughput means i told you uh, in the first example we are having a customer in uh, mumbai instead of uh, making a agreement with a trading company we will maintain a uh, storage location or warehouse in mumbai third party storage location that is nothing but throughput scenario these three scenarios we will discuss in the exchanges okay uh, in the borrow and loan uh, scenario there is a value difference so if there is any value difference then that amount of value difference we are not settling in terms of currency we are settling that value difference in terms of material that is nothing but logical inventory adjustment we are adjusting the inventory in terms of material we are settling them. so this exchange agreements involves a uh, sale sales contract and purchase contract why because we are buying and we are selling same time exchange means we are buying and we are selling so this exchange agreement involves a uh, sales contract and purchase contract also and uh, creation of sales call off and purchase call off means uh, the contract execution execution we are calling as a call off sales call off and uh, purchase call off this is about exchanges and uh, the next uh, functionality is uh, td transportation and distribution td used for uh, uh, td serves uh, three basic needs in oil and gas industry one is uh, transportation of the material after sales we need to transport the material from our plant to the customer okay and uh, second is a uh, inter <clears throat> plant transfer plant to plant transfer we are having a plant in hyderabad and we are having a plant in mumbai we need to there is a need to transport the material from one plant to another plant the yeah, td will serve that scenario 
and third thing is uh, uh, third need is uh, we bought something from a vendor we need to transport that product from vendor place to our plant that is also served in transportation and distribution in uh, transportation and uh, distribution functionality we need to know about the routes which routes the vehicle is following in which routes we need to transport the material again this uh, uh, routes functionality is uh, uh, sap sd functionality but we will discuss here if you are from sd then we need no need to discuss the routes topic if you are not from sd yeah, i will discuss the routes topic and uh, in td master uh, td we are having a master data as i said before transportation unit master data vehicle master data and driver master data transportation unit means uh, informally the big tanks uh, if you see in highways a uh, big tanks with uh, trucks they are transporting the uh, oil and gas products and uh, writing uh, behind uh, highly inflammable so the those big tankers we are calling as a transportation units in this the transportation units we are having the uh, different compartments also that uh, big tank it's not alone we are having the compartments also i will show you the picture here i think it is visible this is a transportation unit this tank we are calling as a transportation unit in this transportation unit we can uh, we can assign different compartments this is one compartment this is one compartment this is another this is a fourth compartment more than two compartments we can have in the transportation unit based on the transportation unit master data and the client requirements okay we can load different materials in one transportation unit if you see here bs3 ms it is one material and bs3 hsd this is another material we can uh, load different materials in one transportation unit this transportation um, unit is a master data and the vehicle master data vehicle different vehicles we will use uh, for the for transporting the goods based on the mean of transport for example uh, road transportation train transportation marine transportation pipeline transportation these are the means of transportation we will use in the oil and gas industry based on the mean of transport we are having different vehicles road transportation then trucks are the vehicle uh, if you are using a train transportation then train the engine we are calling here as a tractor and uh, the attached uh, tankers we are calling as a transportation units okay if you are using pipeline mean of transport mot is a pipeline then pipeline is the vehicle marine then voyage or ships we are using okay these are the vehicle and the driver driver is a human resource uh, in the driver master data we are having uh, the schedules uh, license numbers okay those things uh, we are having in the driver master data and td bulk shipment in the bulk shipment we are having uh, three different uh, scenarios scheduling loading confirmation delivery confirmation scheduling scheduling means uh, which vehicle we need to use okay based on the customer requirement and uh, customer vehicle compatibility we are having two compatibilities in uh, uh, bulk shipment before scheduling those are customer vehicle compatibility compartment product compatibility customer vehicle compatibility means uh, some customers are uh, they are into uh, remote locations for example one customer is in a uh, remote location there is no uh, railway there is no uh, marine there is no pipeline then we use road transportation truck we'll use the truck for the transporting the material that is nothing but customer vehicle compatibility we'll uh, assign this uh, uh, customer com uh, vehicle compatibility in the master data master data 
view one view is there compatibility view in that view we we need to specify the customer and the vehicle compatibility and second compatibility is a, a compartment and a product compatibility in certain or specific compartments we need to load certain products only like if you are driving a diesel car you need to pump diesel only if you are by mistake you pump petrol then the engine will get stuck like that here also the compartments are specifically manufactured for specific products only we need to load those specific products into those uh, specific compartments compartment product compatibility based on these two compatibilities and uh, some checks are there based on those checks we will schedule the shipment we will decide the vehicle we will decide the driver we will decide how much material we need to load all these things we will decide in the scheduling planning then loading confirmation the vehicle goes to loading terminal or bay area there the vehicle get loaded confirmed then it will leaves the factory premises it will deliver the material to the customer will get the delivery confirmation these three things we're calling as a bulk shipment okay in output determination uh, how we are getting the documents uh, printed or uh, fax those things we will uh, discuss in uh, uh, output determination and the transportation planning interface tpi and the terminal automation system interface two interfaces are there if the client is using uh, third party softwares to plan the shipment or to load the shipment then we will use uh, these interfaces transportation planning interface and terminal automation system interface those uh, third party softwares shares the data uh, with sap system through idox uh, if you see here this is uh, one third party software using we are using smart terminal manager <coughs> coming to tsw uh, functionality in td uh, we do only uh, road transportation except the road transportation if the transportation is a pipeline transportation railway transportation or marine transportation then we will use tsw nominations creation of the nominations uh, creation of the locations like uh, storage location uh, discharge location warehouse various types of locations are there business location we are calling these as a business locations okay this uh, business locations creation and managing those locations we will discuss in tsw and creation of nomination nomination is nothing but a document between the trader and between the uh, sorry between the trader and scheduler nomination based on the nomination we will create the ticket the ticket execution okay these things we will discuss in the tsw functionality and uh, in tdp tariffs duties and permits oil and gas industry products are all products are uh, taxable materials so the excise duty determinations of based on the sales cycle and based on the purchase cycle will do in uh, tdp exchange handling exchange exchange uh, uh, duty calculations postings based on the sales cycle and purchase cycle we will discuss in the tdp functionality various types of uh, license uh, handling fees are there like uh, central license tax state license tax fee those license handling types we will discuss in tdp and coming to remote logistics management i told you uh, in the upstream we are having the oil rig in the middle of the sea we are calling that as offshore rig we are having onshore uh, storage locations or on store uh, warehouses plants also so the logistics operations between onshore location and the offshore location we are calling as remote logistics management say for example uh, there is a machinery on the rig get repaired so we cannot repair that uh, machinery uh, in the rig itself we need to transport that rig uh, that machinery from the oil rig to onshore location in the onshore or on site will get repaired that the machinery 
and we need to transport back or if the crude oil they are uh, extracting the crude oil we need to transport that to the aggregation storages these are transportation or these logistics operations will be done by voyages different types of voyages ships okay so different types of uh, supply types are there those supply types different types of voyages and containers container assignment container creation we will discuss in rlm and coming to hydrocarbon product management uh, this is basically uh, the management of uh, hydrocarbon products like uh, finished products or by products also silo management system or tank management system we are having in the sap we are having uh, tank dips or silo dips based on the dips or based on the dip readings we will calculate how much material moved in the particular duration we can calculate those things and we can check with the book readings and quantity conversion interface uh, usually oil and gas uh, products are highly volatile in nature they will evaporate so we need to transport or we need to store these uh, oil and gas products in particular temperature ambient temperature we are calling those as ambient temperatures if you are measuring water and we will uh, measure water one liter water that's it we'll tell one liter but in oil and gas products one liter petrol at 15 degrees centigrade that means liter at 15 degrees liter at 26 degrees temperature we will uh, mention okay whenever we are measuring we will mention the temperature also that means in that temperature only that measured quantity we need to re-measure again okay if we measured uh, one liter of petrol at 15 degrees centigrade if you re-measure that at 15 degrees only then only it will be one liter if you measured that one liter of petrol at 15 degrees centigrade at 26 degrees centigrade then it, there, there is a difference in the quantity so the quantity conversion we will discuss in the quantity conversion interface ambient temperature conversion of the ambient temperatures and uh, I told you in the TD uh, functionality plant to plant uh, transfers are there these uh, plant to plant transfers we, we can track uh, from the hydrocarbon product management the how much material uh, moving per shipment or per duration we can track by using hydrocarbon product management by using that tracking interface okay these are the functionalities i'm going to cover pricing agreements to hydrocarbon product management and uh, you know i think uh, uh, sap implementation based on the asap methodology five phases are there <clears throat> project preparation before project preparation uh, scoping activity then project preparation business blueprint realization cost customization final preparation in final preparation involves uh, uh, testing training training of the end user this thing then go like all these phases involves uh, different documents project document pro project preparation documents and business blueprint bbp uh, in realization we are uh, having customization documents training documents testing documents these documents i will provide the documents related to oil and gas industry Im implementation documents i can provide uh, and i will explain the asap methodology also based on the oil and gas industry related to uh, oil and gas industry and uh, i'm giving the notes like this I'll get the notes like this Mr. Surinder, this is Rajashekar. I have one question. Yeah, Mr. Rajashekar. Uh, what kind of documents you are going to share with us? BBP, project preparation, uh -huh. uh, okay. customization documents, real time. Okay. Uh, okay real time documentation, right? Yeah, real documentation. How but, is a... Yeah, tell me. 
Uh, how would SAP documentations like IOC 10 and all documents are there, right? Uh, so uh, any chance that you have the documents? Uh, TIOC 10, uh, IOC 100, and IOC, IOC, 10, yeah, yeah. IOC yeah, yeah. 340. Those are 340. certification documents yeah. and uh, those are plus or minus 5 hours. Okay. Okay. And I think you researched about the demand, uh, job opportunities and the compensations. I think you know. Anyway, uh, let me tell you. The, there is a demand okay, for uh, downstream uh, in TD, TSW, combination they are asking. TD, TSW or RLM, HPM. They are asking the combinations. Okay, and compensations, uh, three years real-time experience. They are paying around uh, 55,000 per month in India. And in US, it varies uh, 100 to uh, 130 dollars, I think, per hour. Okay, uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask me.